guys, it's Brittany, and today's video is a true ghost story. It's creepy as hell. I mean, I think it is. You guys know how I feel about female spirits. Now, this spirit does not have long black hair. She does not wear a white dress, a long white dress. She's known as the Grey Lady, which is why I'm wearing grey. My Slytherin sweater. A sweater. I should sweater. <laughs> My Slytherin sweater, hey, yes. So she wears all gray. She has a gray dress, gray shoes, gray veil. Now veils I find to be something super freaky. Do you remember Black Veil on Pretty Little Liars? Even though Black Veil wasn't dead, Black Veil used to scare the crap out of me because just the veil over her face, just knowing that she can see you but you can't see her kind of thing. I don't know, there's something about veils that freak me out and this veil is gray that this lady wears and you know, she's known as the gray lady. <laughs> so she haunts the Willard Library in Evansville, Indiana. And you wanna hear something really crazy. The very first sighting of the gray lady happened in 1937 at three o'clock AM, dead time, the devil's hour, the spiritual hour, that special hour, 3 AM, so, man. One of the night managers went down to the basement to check on the furnace, and that is when he came face to face with the gray lady. She was just staring at him, and he was terrified. He dropped his flashlight. She was just this lady all in gray. She also had a gray hat, like along with her gray veil, and then she dissolved into thin air, and he was freaked out. So freaked out that he quit his job. So, I mean, that just says it all. He was oh, petrified. I would have been freaked out too, and you guys know me with my ghosts, especially since I saw a dark figure, which was amazing and just it made my life, it honestly did. It was just one of the happiest moments of my life. One of the freakiest, but I loved it so much. But just picturing this woman in my head freaks me out. Like, I don't know what it is about females because I am a female, so I guess I'm scared of myself, I'm, you know. <laughs> so once this janitor quit his job, you know, another janitor was then hired and the same thing happened to him when he went down into the basement to check the furnace or do whatever and he kept catching glimpses of this gray lady. Also too, she's also described as an older lady, but he started to see her, he also got so freaked out and then he quit his job. But I mean, who wouldn't be terrified? You're all alone. You're down in the basement and then this woman just comes out of nowhere. She's all in gray, gray veil, gray dress, gray shoes, gray hat, just everything gray staring at you. I mean, I don't blame these people for quitting their jobs. I, I really don't because that's probably traumatizing to see. Ever since then, this ghost has been seen numerous times not just numerous, like so many times. People who come to this library, they will feel cold spots. Doors will open and shut by themselves and nobody is around. The faucets will turn on. They'll feel somebody touching their ears or their hair. And when I say ears, like I mean earrings. Like people will feel somebody touching their earring. Like I guess you know, if somebody has a nice earring on and you're kind of looking at it and you grab it. I mean, I don't know, I've never done that. I also don't have my ears pierced because I'm scared. I know, I don't make sense. I tell you guys that all the time. But just imagine, because I'm assuming a lot of you guys have your ears pierced or have some kind of piercing, and you feel somebody touching your piercing. Like you just feel that and there's nobody there. So who is touching? your piercing or your, you know, your earrings or whatever, so, I mean, it's crazy stuff. There's also this overpowering smell of perfume that a lot of people have reported smelling. There's this one incident where this three-year-old boy was wandering around the library by himself and he was traumatized. First of all, why are you leaving your three-year-old son to walk around by himself in a library? So anyways, when he came back to see his mom, he, like his eyes were just like, he saw a ghost, which he, he actually did. And his mom was like, well, what's wrong? And he described seeing this scary lady all dressed in gray. So he was so scared. There's several sightings of the gray lady being spotted by the bookshelves. Which sounds so scary, just picture that in your head, like there was one employee, she was just, you know, at the bookshelf and the lady was just standing there looking at her. So when she looked away for a second and then she looked back, the lady was gone. But it's just, it just sounds like a horror movie, <laughs> you know what I mean? How they just appear and... <laughs> there was one librarian that went home and the gray lady was standing in her living room waiting for her. So I mean, 
mean, that's even more terrifying because if you're working at a haunted place and you just, you know, you're kind of freaked out being at work and you think it's going to stay there, but no, the ghost follows you home and starts appearing in your house. So, wow. So the biggest question is, who is this gray lady. A lot of people think it's the ghost of Sarah Carpenter. Her father, Willard Carpenter, was actually the founder of the library. So, I mean, it kind of makes sense. They say, though, that Sarah actually had a grudge against the library because when her father died, he left all the money for the library and she didn't get anything. So she returns and, you know, she just... She has such a grudge against this library, so that's why she haunts it. So when people see her, I mean, they're they're terrified, you know what I mean? But then she hasn't really done anything that's, you know, she, she's never actually hurt anybody or, you know what I mean? People don't really feel threatened by her. It's just, it's scary because she appears out of nowhere and she just stares at you and she's all in gray. So, you know, it's so creepy. I got chills right now just thinking about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the story about the gray lady who haunts the Willard Library in Evansville, Indiana. The story is very interesting and I want to go to this library so badly. I feel like this library was on an episode of Scary But True. I could be wrong, but for some reason it just seems so familiar. I don't know if it's just because of the gray lady. There's a lot of gray lady ghosts out there, but I feel like I see a clip in my head from the episode of Scary But True in this library. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that is the story. It's so creepy. What would you do if you came face to face with this gray lady? Like, what would you do? And she's staring right at you. Do you run by her? Do you just stare at her in shock? Do you say something to her? But you know, majority of the time she's kind of there for, you know, a split second and then she disappears and it's kind of like before. You're in so much shock, you can't even, you don't even know what to do with yourself. You know what I mean? By the time you kind of snap out of it, well I guess you don't really snap out of it. It's almost too late, you know what I mean? You always think of something better to do when it's over or like something better to say once something is over, you know what I mean? I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, you rock my world and the song lyrics of Michael Jackson. Guys, this video is going up on Wednesday right? Yes. This is my second last video until Brittany Ween begins this Sunday starting at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. I am uploading every single day in October. I'm so excited. I have three sets this year. Three sets. You guys will see my main one in the first video and um, I will just give more of an explanation in the first video because it's like my opening, you know what I mean? I start like, I tell you guys like what's happening and everything, but I'm so excited for this to start. My costumes this year, just everything. My sets I am in love with. If you want to see sneak peeks of Brittany Ween, follow me at Brittany44 on Instagram. That's where I post all of my sneak peeks. So I'm super excited guys. 4 p.m. Eastern Time this Sunday, October 1st be the first Brittany Ween. I also have Brittany Ween merch if you want to check it out. I will leave it down below. So anyways guys, <laughs> I'm really excited. So I hope that you guys are very excited as well because that's just, I put a lot into it and it's something I'm very passionate about as you guys know. So as always, I already said this, but you rock my world in the song lyrics of Michael Jackson. Hashtag team Brittany44. Hashtag brotherins. Hey. Well, brotherin, Slytherin. Just imagine this says brotherin. Yeah. <laughs> I will see you guys in Friday's video, which is going to be my last normal video until, girl, we get into the costumes, we get into the sets, and it's going to be fun. It's going to be super fun. So I will see you guys on Friday. So yeah, bye.